totally contrary to the whole situation, like totally 180 degrees opposite situation is going to be when there's the death, time of death of the believer. Hazrat Bara bin Azib who reports in Mustad Ahmad that Prophet now narrated what? For the believer he said that when a believer is to leave this world for hereafter the angels which are going to come to receive the soul are like what? They have beautiful shining and glowing faces and they will be clad in clean and pure white dresses and they will have a soft silken scented cloth from the Jannah and all this group of angels with the, they will sit at a distance from the person and then the angel of death Israel will come and sit at the head end of the believer and say O oh, holy soul Allahumma ja'alna minhum, oh Allah, make us one of these. Oh Allah, make us one of these. The angel Israel will come and will address this, the believer from the head end and will say, O oh holy soul, O oh pious soul, leave the body and set out to the forgiveness and happiness from Allah. So, the soul and the person will be given the good news of forgiveness and the pleasure of Allah. And hence the soul will leave the body as softly, as easily, as smoothly. Like here in this hadith, Prophet ﷺ gave the example that as water flows out easily out of the, out of the bag of water. And in another place, Prophet ﷺ has been reported <coughs> to give the example like the scent or the perfume or the smell of a perfume or a smell flows easily out of the bottle where the where the lid is taken off so the soul will easily come out and the soul the angels will take it from angel Jibrail, the group of angels who had accompanied the death angel they will take it from the hands of the death angel and uh, then they will wrap it up in that soft silken scented sheet and then Prophet ﷺ said the sheet itself will make it fragrant with the sense of paradise and then the soul will give out the smell of the best musk found on the surface of the earth and the angels will respectfully with all the protocol and with all the honor and the respect they will carry the soul to the sky and on their way whenever the angels will meet them they'll ask whose holy soul is this and they will introduce the soul this is such and such son and daughter of such and such and they will be called by their good deeds and they will be introduced by their good deeds and he and she was known in the world with such and such best name the modest the honest the believer the God-fearing the pious the pure so there will be names and then they will carry the soul to the heaven and they will request the door to be opened the door will be opened for this pure holy soul the angels of the first sky will escort the soul to the next and the process will continue till they, they reach the seventh sky. And then Allah will order, register the name of my soul in Illiyin. What is Illiyin? Allah says, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا إِلِّيُّونَ كِتَابٌ مَرْقُومٌ How can you comprehend what Illiyin is? It is an office, it is a record place in the Jannah. Allah will say, register the name of my slave in Illiyin and return it to the earth and its body. And the soul will then be, be recorded and the soul will then be placed in Illiyin, which is a place in the gardens of Jannah. Because you know, every Thursday, 
And every Monday, the person, the good deeds, the virtues, the pious activities, the God-fearing activities and worships the person used to do, they used to be all presented to Allah and then they used to be saved and recorded and protected in Ilyin. So now, where this person had deposited all his good deeds, the soul will also be collected with the good deeds in Ilyin. So this is all how it will be about the events of a believer and the events of the death of a disbeliever.